Hey guys, so I am going to be doing a quick Sephora haul today. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Jen, or you can call me Jen. My name is really Janan, but uh, yeah, everybody gets doesn't know how to pronounce my name. So yeah, Janan, but you can call me Jen. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a quick Sephora haul from some things that I got from work. So yeah, all a mixture of things, okay? So first things first, I got a quarterly um, face lifting soft cream. I haven't opened this yet, but this is a nice moisturizer. And if you're not familiar with Caudalie, it's um, a line from um, Bordeaux, France, where that's where the it was originally created. And they're a really good line. Their products are pretty pricey. Um, like a lot of their moisturizers are like 60 bucks and up. I think one of them is like 98 but um they're like made of all natural ingredients and they don't test on animals so it's a really really great line and i hope in the future to um try a serum from them so i might be buying that soon i also got a sample size of the chanel number no. five this is a new fragrance from the chanel collection um and this one you can see the name right there i'm not quite sure how to pronounce it i believe it's low or yeah i believe that means water um in French, uh, for at least from the little French that I know from my family, because my daddy and my mama didn't speak French to me, so they just spoke Creole, so I don't know, it looks like water, but um, it's a really nice scent, um, smells very fresh, um, I'm not good with notes and everything, so I can't really describe fragrances from you for you, so um, if you want to check this out, just go to like a local department store or Sephora and um, test it out, but this is a really nice fresh scent. So if you're into fresh scents, um, it is very elegant, um, sexy, give this a try. Newest from Chanel. Also got a um, lip color from Clinique. Um, this one is called Sweetheart Pop number 5 just a liquid lip color um, I'm not gonna open it a lot of it's a matte lip liquid lip color but you can see it um, the color in the tube is pretty true to color and yeah I'm not gonna open it um, a lot of the things I'm not gonna open because they're gonna go on my kit or I'm gonna save them and once you open something it's not the same anymore so it starts to expire okay um, I also got something from Sunday Riley, which I'm starting to really love her line. This is the Martian um, Mattifying Melting Water Gel Toner. So this is a really nice alternative for people with oily or acne prone skin acne prone skin um it's an awesome toner um i do use it at work sometimes on clients depending on their skin type and it's just amazing to really refresh the skin and tighten the pores before a makeup application and it's not only for makeup applications but just skincare um routine in general this will be a great addition to that if you're oily or acne prone so give this a try it has green tea, cucumber, so it's really going to soothe the skin and tighten those pores up. Um, I also got a NARS concealer. This is one of the new shades in Amand. Um, yeah, just the NARS Radiant Creamy. I'll be using this to highlight. Um, I also got a couple of mascaras. Um, the first one that I got was Urban Decay Perversion. Um, this is like a staple, like that's been out a long time. And then I got two Better Than Sex mascaras. If you guys didn't know, they made a waterproof one. Um, so I have the original and the waterproof, and this one's okay. Gives volume, length, and curl. A lot of the girls come inside Sephora asking for this, so yeah. Also got a Clarisonic. Yes, I got the Mia too. I'm really excited about that. I've already used it and I must say it is amazing. Um, I did start using it a little bit too much and it started to break me out because it was bringing up some of the stuff from the like underneath my skin. Um, so I did start to break out. So I just kind of pulled back from using it a little bit. And yeah, still love it. It's amazing. I have the Mia too. Um, here's the charger for it. I haven't charged it since I got it, honestly. I know you're supposed to charge things like the first time you use it, but I haven't charged it and it's still, I've had it for at least a month. I also have the Refreshing Gel Cleanser. This is almost done. You can use any cleanser, but I just use this because they gave it to me. Um, and this is the Clarisonic with the traveling package on it. Um, and it has a nice plastic container to keep um, the bristles um, 
the bristles you know clean so you're it just in case you are traveling with it and I know that girls don't change their Clarisonic brushes but I was actually trained from Clarisonic and you should change the brushes at least twice a year I mean even though it's they say it doesn't harbor bacteria but they do say that it will not perform as well as it did before um, and you want to change it for hygiene reasons I mean it's a facial brush it's going deep inside of your pores cleaning your skin you want to change this brush um the Mia 2 um I got it in purple it has two speeds um so you can use the regular speed or you can use the higher speed I just use the regular speed um and it beeps every time that you, every couple of um seconds where you need to change the position of what part of your face you're cleansing so first you'll start off with this part of the face this part then the forehead and then the t-zone so every time it beeps that means you can move on to the next um portion of the face okay so loving my new Clarisonic um, I also got a makeup remover from It Cosmetics. Um, it's called Bye Bye Makeup. It's a three-in-one cleanser. This is amazing. Um, it's for any kind of skin type. But especially if you have dry skin, the melting bombs are just amazing. I've just gotten hip to melting bombs, and I just love them. I also really, really love the Sunday Riley one. It's a little pricey, but amazing. And if you're looking for something a little cheaper, Clinique has one too. So this one's by It. I haven't opened it yet. This one's very lightweight, um, and it's just a bomb, so it feels very moisturizing. Like, the container is really, really lightweight, so I can't wait to try that. Um, I'm still using, a, a, a like, my current makeup remover, so I will not be using this yet. Um, but yeah, very moisturizing. You just want to apply it to your face and um, rub it in and it will literally start melting the makeup off. Um, and you just rinse your face off with hot um, or warm water so it can really open up the pores. And if you have like a wash rag you use on your face, it'll be really good to warm up the rag under the water. Open, like wring it out, open it up, put it on the face so it can really open up the pores to really, really get the makeup off. That is what's really going to help to... Um, get all your makeup off and like really care for your skin is when you really cleanse your skin So if you guys want to get like an in-depth video from me about skincare um, Just please comment down below and make sure you thumbs up this video just because your girl did a video And because I'm coming back with a nice haul you feel me. So yeah, that's what I got from it I also got the confidence in a cream moisturizer <clears throat> which I already already used um, and it's okay um, a co-worker of mine that works in skincare was telling me like oh girl that has like um, silicone in it and all these like dimethicone and all these cones and I'm just like okay like you know sometimes silicones aren't really good sometimes they can clog the pores um, but I've used silicone primers and they've been okay on my skin so that's why I feel like this one is okay for my skin I have broken out if you can kind of see I have like a little residual breakout but that was from me using the Clarisonic and previously having um, breakouts and not cleaning my makeup brushes so the makeup brushes dirty makeup brushes caused me to break out and then I went back in with my Clarisonic and my skin was looking amazing and I was using my Clarisonic too much so it was bringing I was using it like every single day which for some people that can be a little bit too much it just depends on your skin type but the pimples that were like appearing on my face they were like filled with white pus so sorry if that's a little nasty but whenever you see something white like that it's bacteria so it was just things that were deep inside of my skin which is it's good that it brought it out but I'm pretty sure it would have brought it out in a more gentle way if I would have used the um, Clarisonic a little bit less so I wouldn't have like had pimples visibly on my face also got this NARS contour. Um, it's a multi-contouring stick. Um, I'm going to give this away to somebody, my old manager. I'm going to send her a Christmas gift. But it has a highlighter. It's starting to get a little dark. But yeah, it has a highlighting stick right here. Really nice. She loves to contour like my old manager from the salon I used to work at. Like she, Well, she loves bronzer, so I'm going to send this to her. Um... And then it has like a contouring stick here. It's a pretty deep color. And yeah, she's pretty like medium. Medium. She's not fair. She's like, she's like medium skin tone. And she like, uh, she just, she moved from Michigan. But she loves to tan and she loves to look really golden. So I'm going to send this to her for Christmas. Along with some of those Too Faced mascaras. And um, I'm going to send her a card and probably something else. 
Also got the Huge Mascara from Stila. Um, yeah, this one's really good. Pretty similar to the Better Than Sex. Not gonna open it so you can see the brush. Um, but yeah, this one's really good. It's ophthalmologist tested. Um, and it's supposed to give you, like, really big, long, voluminous lashes. Um, and then I also got one more mascara. This one's from IT, and it's called Superhero. Also not gonna open this one up. It's super black. One of my coworkers told me that she really does love this. So who knows? I have a couple of mascaras to get through. So we'll see what's the next one I try. I also got an eye cream from It Cosmetics. I've used this one too and it's pretty good. It's the Bye Bye um, Under Eye Eye Cream. Um, and this is how it looks inside of the container. So you always want to use an eye cream. It makes your makeup look better. Keeps the wrinkles away. Depending on what kind of ingredients it has. It could brighten, lighten, and tighten um, the under eye area. So yeah, you don't only want to use it because it makes your concealer look better. You want to use it to prevent wrinkles. So yeah, and a lot of times when you use your moisturizer all around your face, it'll create milia under your eyes. And we don't want that because that can't just come off. Like that has to be removed by a dermatologist. Next, sorry I'm rushing because last time like I it cut off and I didn't even know so I'm trying to hurry. Um, I also got a sample size of the Elizabeth and James. This is um, the Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen line at um, Sephora, the fragrances. And this one is a rose scent and it's amazing. I have the bourbon one in my purse too and it's just bomb. So check those scents out um, at Sephora. I believe that's a Sephora exclusive. Um, I also got another product from Caudalie, and this is um, the Divine Oil. Um, yeah, so um, it's just a dry oil. You can use it in your hair, your body, um, or your face. I don't really know what the ingredients are. But yeah, it's just a dry oil. And like I said, Caudalie is a more natural line. They're vegan. They don't test on animals. And most of their products are made from grapeseed. So I'm pretty sure this one probably has some kind of grapeseed oil in it or whatever so yeah just a dry oil um got champagne pop highlighter um this is the slim light <clears throat> and it just looks like this so it's really creamy you can apply it on your um your face i'm gonna be using this in my kit for my clients um i also got the josie marin um skin surreal skin um argon finishing balm i'm probably gonna give this to my mom really nice moisturizing balm um you can use it as a moisturizer but it's a finishing balm so it gives your face like a really nice um radiant look let me open it oh no it's sealed so i'm not gonna open it yeah but um see that's why you don't open products that you're not gonna use because yeah um yeah it just gives the face like a really nice radiant um dewy look so I'm going to give that to mom because it's that balm, since it's radiant, it's really good for drier skin. Um, and it'll be amazing for more mature skin because they need a lot more moisture to keep them looking young and tight. So yeah. I also got the Hourglass Foundation Stick. This one is in my color. Um, my girl Ellen got me this from work. She's from Hourglass. And I don't know why I chose this color. Even she said like when she like heard like what color I picked she was like I don't think that's DJ's color but that's what I put on the paper so that's what she brought me she did bring me another one but that one was something was that one wasn't good either so I just took this one to highlight but I think I'm really supposed to, this one is golden almond um and this is the color um I think I'm supposed to be golden amber or chestnut so it's gonna be one of those so um I think she might get me another one and she also gave me the stick or the brush for it amazing you want to use that product with a flat brush if you can't afford to purchase that one i also got um some samples of eye masks from bosha um bosha is a korean line um and this one is just the hydrogel sake brightening under eye mask um, and it's really bomb. So this is one is really good to brighten, firm, and hydrate the under eye area, as you can see at the bottom. So yeah, just a treatment for the under eyes. Also got a Laura Mercier lipstick in Bisu. And it's just a nice pink color. Gonna probably be putting this in my kit too, because I don't really think... I have a MAC lip color like this, and I don't really think that'll look good with on me, unless I'm using like a deeper pink liner, like a magenta liner or something and from Lancome I got the grandiose liner this one's amazing it has a swiveling tip um so it, when you're using it to do like a winged eyeliner or something like that um you can bend the brush to have more flexibility and it's a really nice um 
liquid liner. I also got a lipstick from Dior. This is from, from their new matte collection. And this one is in the color 999. Um, it's just a nice red. Looks like Ruby Woo. So this one will be going in my kit for my fancy clients. Yes, so I can tell them, yes, um, this is Dior. Christian Dior. So <laughs> my hair is all in the way. I got a sample size of the Alginus Lifting Firming and Contour Serum. I'm not using a serum right now. I'm using my UFO oil. So, I don't really... I might even give this to my mom since it's for lifting and firming. Yeah. Got a sample of that. Also got a sample of the Murad Renewal Serum. Another one. This one has retinol in it. Bomb! Look up your ingredients, boo. I'll try that one day. And I also got a sample of the um, Philosophy Cool Lift and Firm Eye Cream. And I really actually like this moisturizer. So I'll try the eye cream as well. Um, got a sample size of the BB or Bumble and Bumble Hairdress Invisible Oil. This one's pretty okay. I'm going to be using this in my hair kit. It's just a dry invisible oil. So it gives the hair a little bit of shine, but it doesn't make it oily. Um, and this is the UFO oil that I was talking about. Amazing, amazing, like holy grail for me now. Um, this is from Sunday Riley and I got a sample size. It is a little bit pricey um, purchasing the whole product. They don't sell the sample size. But when I tell you like this is bomb, like if you have oily or acne prone skin, give this a try go to sephora and ask for a sample of it um skincare products need to be used for at least 30 days for you to see a difference but this is just amazing it really clarifies the skin um purifies the pores and it's just it's just amazing it leaves the skin really refreshed and moisturized um i use that at nighttime after i've removed like my makeup and stuff um and usually i don't follow behind with a moisturizer just because it moisturizes my face so much um, and then another product that will be going in my kit is the Yves Saint Laurent lip stain. These are the new lip stains and I got the color 410. And it's just a nice um, cherry, like a bright cherry red color. Almost pinkish. And then I also got from Lancome the um, Tinty Doll Stick. Um, yeah, this is the color 510. Um, once I'm done with my foundation, I will try this. But yeah. Just another foundation that I got. It has a nice, um, like, satin matte, satin to matte finish. Not really matte matte. Um, and it's really creamy. So, yeah, I can't wait to try that. Um, I got a lip gloss from Laura Mercier. And this one is called Tulip. And it's just a nice pink. And it'll go over top of that other lipstick that I got from her amazingly. I would wear this alone, but not the lipstick. Also got a lip liner from No Bleeding Lips. Don't know what color it is. I haven't opened it yet. But yeah, just a lip liner. And then I also got Amazing Cosmetics um, Corrector. This is in the shade Medium. Yeah, Medium Deep. Um, so it's just a color corrector and then a concealer on this side. So I love Amazing Cosmetics. Um, really creamy, nice concealers. Then I also got um, a Bite Beauty Multi Lips Multi Stick. You can use it on your lips, eyes, and cheeks. And this is in the color Gelato. Pretty sure I'll be putting this in my kit because it's like a pastel lavender pink, and this will not look flattering on me. Maybe as like an eyeshadow or something like that if I was doing a neutral look. But I'm gonna use it in my kit. Um. Also got the sunscreen from Cover FX. It's a clear clear cover sunscreen and I believe you can put this on top of your makeup I'm not sure but it has SPF 30 and you want to use sunscreen no matter what shade you are sunscreen is necessary and then I also lastly got um the Dr. Brandt Magnetite Age Defying Magnet Mask so I believe this ingredient is based from charcoal so it just works to really purify the skin and the pores and then it has a magnet that you use to put up to the face and it sucks off the mask and sucks off all the impurities in the skin so yeah you guys that is everything that um I got from Sephora um i hope you guys like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that i can continue to do more videos and hopefully i can get this up to you guys tonight so thanks for watching 